Well, you rightly said that uh, the sands around us are shifting mm. uh, geopolitically and in the economic sense of the word also for our region. And um, as we all know, India lives in a difficult neighborhood and um, many of the alignments of the past have had to be redefined, reordered, recast in some ways. And that is where the India-US relationship, I think, really comes in. And uh, if you look at the developments in the relationship over the last 17 years uh, from the beginning of the 2000s, uh, you see the change in the landscape, as it were. Mm -hmm. And uh, there is you know, progress by which you can define this relationship, by which you can benchmark a lot of what has happened. And we took that as the starting point for the task force. Yeah. Uh, which was set up by the Center for American Progress and Ambassador Varma and I co-chaired it and we have Mike Fuchs here and uh, uh, you know many others who helped work with us and make this happen with 10 experts from the Indian side, 10 experts from the US side, drawn from all fields which again mirrors the relationship today. Right. It's not you know your orthodox foreign policy relationship, it, it involves people it involves development, it involves bread and butter issues in many ways. So the three things that you think that would, that have changed across the landscape globally uh, since you were ambassador in the US? Well, I would say China, China, China. Okay. <laughs> ambassador Verma. Yeah, so it's, it is an interesting time. Uh, and I think we're all trying to really understand what's happening. I guess I would mention a few things. One is the intersection of uh, technology and economics and the great disruption uh, and great advancements that we've seen at the same time. And in fact, one of the recommendations in our report is talking about um, you know, the future of work. And the, we have these great innovations together, but we should really talk about the impact on our workforce as well. So there's technology disruptions. I think that's a big global trend. We haven't gotten our arms around. I think the role of the United States in the world is certainly a shifting um, Some would question. say declining. Well, I think it's, uh, I think it's shifting. I, I think clearly still the remaining quote unquote superpower in the world by size of economy, mm -hmm. size of military. Whether we choose to use that influence the way we have in years past, I think is an open question. And I think uh, we'll have to see how that uh, story uh, plays out. Uh, and I also just think the kind of wealth inequality, the need to focus on job creation, uh, that's what the kind of masses are speaking out about. Um, they're talking about having this inclusive economic growth. Those are stories that are not just American stories or Indian stories. Those are, I think, a global trend. We certainly tried to talk about that in our report and tried to talk about how U.S. India could actually be an example of how we can weather some of the, not only weather these storms, but actually use our relationship in a way to empower people and actually tap into their dreams and aspirations. So I noticed, Ambassador Varma, that you didn't touch upon the C word at all, China, and Ambassador Nirupama Rao. She said it three times. She said it so three I times, and you say didn't word. say it even once. <laughs> Why do you think? Isn't uh, that the Chinese are sort of Enveloping, circumscribing the Americans? No, I look. I think um, in in many ways, I think the U.S. and India position uh, towards China has a lot of remarkable similarities to it. Uh, neither of us are looking for a conflict with China, uh, but <coughs> both of us want a China that plays by the rules, by the post World War II order. Uh, and we've been very clear about that. And I think the Indian uh, government has been very clear about our. Uh, about their, its position as well. And independent of China's uh, rise or more sort of posture, over the last five years, the US and Indian governments have actually come together, I think, on a very um, kind of unified view of the Indo-Pacific mm -hmm. and uh, the importance of resolving disputes peacefully, um, the importance of uh, you know, the law of the sea, uh, the importance of counter, uh, countering proliferation, uh, economic uh, growth for all people. So we've actually, that's been reaffirmed, not just by President Obama's term, but by President Trump and Prime Minister Modi's uh, visit as well.